I'm Laughing Woman and I'm doing a reading today so that we can see what the energies this week are and how we can best use them to thrive. The first card is the Mystic of Earth, Frugality. The second card is the Achiever of Water, Idealism. The third card is Eight of Air, Tradition. The fourth card is Nine of Bridges, Scrutinize. And the fifth card is Nine of Air, Distortion. So we begin our week by holding our energies close to ourselves. When frugality appears, it's saying that you're trying to overextend yourself somehow or another, and you need to pull back in a little bit so that your resources, whether they're energetic or emotional or financial or whatever, um, are sustained we move from frugality into idealism. So what this tells me is that by pulling our energy back to ourselves a little bit, we get re-engaged we, we re with our ideal view of life and what we really know the situation we're dealing with can become. From idealism, we move into tradition at the middle of the week. Now tradition simply is that which we already do, we know how to do, it's probably done by a number of people, but maybe it's just us, but it's a routine that we do. So we're taking our idealistic view of whatever we're looking at, and we're putting it up next to tradition and seeing how within our comfort zone, within our known way of being, we can actually invoke that ideal and live it. We move from tradition into scrutinize, the nine of bridges. And scrutinize says look very carefully at the details. Whatever your plan is, you need to make sure that all the details support you in getting where you really want to go. After scrutinize, toward the end of the week, we're at nine of air, which is distortion. Distortion says we're looking through a lens of some sort that's making the picture not quite as clear as it needs to be. What I like to do when I'm in distortion is go back to scrutinize, take a more careful look, see what I've overlooked, what I've assumed, what I've projected into the situation, and get grounded in the facts of what's really there. And then that'll move through from distortion to clarity. So in summary for this week, we begin by pulling our energy back close to home. In whatever ways we feel overextended, we just cut back on that a little bit so that we rebalance. From there, we begin to see our ideal again. And we take that ideal and sit it next to our traditional way of being, whatever that is, and figure out how those two things work together. How can we create that ideal and stay within our tradition. From there, we take a good look at all the details. Looking at those details tends to distort the picture a little bit. So I want to suggest that when you're confused about what's out here at the end of the week, go back and scrutinize the details a little bit more. And then you can move through the distortion and figure out where you really want to go with this week's energies. Have a wonderful week.